guys, once again, welcome to the Gatekeepers TV. As usual, I'm your host, Dennis Keton. I'm Oli Edwin. And we are here together as the Gatekeepers, ready to uh, give you our take, straight up analysis and predictions on tonight's UEFA Champions League game. But before we start, let's rewind and give you results for yesterday's games. So Pogba, give them the results. Yeah, guys, yesterday we predicted, uh, if you check our previous videos, I personally predicted all home teams to win. I had the Ajax uh, t-shirt with me here, <laughs> and for your info, Ajax lost, they were at home, they lost 1-0, same to the other club, Manchester United lost, 1-0, they all went, in fact, they didn't go home, they were home already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, as we are there, 30 seconds, tell me, what was the issue with that game yesterday? How did you find the game, Manchester United against Atletico Madrid? The What's game, your take about the game? The game was just fair. United played the best match they could they have ever played. They dominated completely the whole of the match. But uh, I think uh, Atletico had a game plan. Uh, they were to defend, and uh, since they are very fast players, they were to defend and counter attack, defending and counter attack. It worked for them. Uh, it worked for them. Uh, we never yesterday we made a couple of mistakes, but. We minimized and we, I can say we played really well. Uh, although Elanga and Sancho missed a couple of uh, chances, but we don't include them. A loss is a loss. Uh, the first Elanga shot hit the bar and you know when you hit the bar, that's a bad omen. So they, those guys, they know how to waste time, especially when it, from the 70th minute they wasted a, uh, a lot of time here and there, subs, walking slowly around the pitch, and at the end of the day, we lost. So, your 30 seconds are over. So, anyways, Boba told you they lost, but it was a nice game to watch. Manchester pressed, they pressed, they pressed very well. I was impressed with their game plan, how they played. The only issue is, as he said, they never capitalized on their chances. And I'm, I can quote myself yesterday here, I told Pogba, at times in football, it's not how sexy you played. You can defend and people tell you that you people you're defending. But at the end of the road, I told you what, the end justifies the means, right? Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's all about who scores, who qualifies. Because even if you look at the game of Ajax versus uh, Benfica, sincerely speaking, Benfica didn't deserve to win. But it's football. Mm -hmm. you, you blink, you get eliminated. And it is what it is. So guys, straight up. Tonight we have two matches again. So uh, Villarreal will be welcoming who? Juventus. Or is it the other way around? No. It's, yeah, I think it's Villarreal will be welcoming Juventus. So, mm -hmm. so uh, the first leg this team's drew, 1-1, uh, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. uh, Vlahovic scored in the first minute, or should I say few seconds. Uh, then uh, there, were, there, there came an equalizer from Pareno, Parejo. Mm. And uh, the you match know, ended one one. I thought since Vla Vlahovic. I thought since he scored in the f on the first minute, I thought he would he would score every minute, maybe ninety goals. <laughs> <laughs> this is football, man. But it is what it is, yeah. So um, over the weekend, Juventus had a game with Sampdoria, whereby they won by how many goals? Three goals. Three goals to one, right? And uh, at the same same time, I believe Villarreal won in their match. So Pogba, mm. what's your take on tonight's game? Are we again going to see um, the same result as yesterday night whereby home teams will be humiliated or tonight it will be a different result? Uh, Villarreal, the Yellow Submarines, they play the same game as uh, Atletico. Mm. They know how to defend. When they are leading by the 70th minute, mm -hmm. the, there are chances you might lose, as a, the opponent might lose because these people are impenetrable. So, um, I think they're going to defend well Villarreal, they have Pau Torres at the back, they have uh, Moreno, uh, Danjuma. Hey, that guy, mm -hmm. the, 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 former, the former Tottenham striker, you Lo remember Celso. Lo Celso. So these people are good. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope Juventus won't undermine them. So, I stand with the Yellow Submarines tonight. You stand with the Yellow Submarines, yeah? Mm -hmm. One minute. I think after yesterday, I'm, I'm, I'm bracing up for the fact that anything is possible. Anything is possible, my friend. Especially 
if you don't come with a good game plan and you execute it the way you had planned, my friend, anything is possible. So to be quoted on record, Pogba, mm-hmm. you are going with the yellow submarines. Definitely. To win by how many goals? One year. One year. Mm-hmm. Just one. One. With Dusan Vlahovic or his name Vlahovic on the pitch, you don't think this guy will score any time for you in print in Champions League? Not in Villarreal, not for Villarreal, not against Villarreal. Not against Villarreal, mm-hmm. but he scored against them in the first minute in the previous match. Or yeah, not this time. They, were, they weren't prepared. They actually, they were getting themselves into the game. So they were caught unaware. Unaware. So guys, uh, in that match, here was Marines versus Juve. Uh, I feel like this is one of those matches where but I watched the first leg and I was impressed by Villarreal. They played very well, they were so attack-minded and at the same time, they, they attacked as a team and defended as a unit. And uh, Juventus wasted a few, some few chances here and there, though that's to mean that this is a game whereby you need to watch it very closely because uh, you'll be in for it. Morata is coming from weekend having scored a brace, so I feel like he's kind of uh, motivated. Uh, Moiskin is back at the front, so I know tonight maybe he might start on the bench as Dusan Vlaho- as Vlahovic starts in his place. But uh, these people just have, uh, Dybala is there, they just have a formidable team. Then my main man, Mr. Rokateli, mm-hmm. uh, is also in the squad doing, I love that nigga, that guy because he always does impressive things in the field. Mm-hmm. So Juve is a team to watch tonight and uh, Villarreal is also a team which you don't want to undermine. So in tonight's match, just as yesterday's match was, uh, you just... The team which is going to win is the team which will maintain concentration until the very end. And the question is, who is good at defensive, defending? Is it Villarreal or Juve? Villarreal. So if you ask me, Villarreal are the better team at defending. So that means that leaves Juve with only one option, to get any goals and to ensure that they score more than two goals if they really want to win tonight. A goal is not enough because they were shown that by Villarreal next uh, last last in the last match, yeah. in the first leg. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So tonight is a night whereby I'm favoring Juve to, to win, though I'm sounding or I'm sending a warning shot to them that they need to be careful. Parejo and Co, they are, they are people who you don't want to blink when you're playing them. So 2-1 in favor of Juve, though anything is possible, don't quote me on this. So Pogba, take us to the next big game. The next game will be... Lille against Chelsea. Guys, Chelsea right now, they are, uh, they are undergoing a couple of issues. I saw Kai on the other day, he said uh, if it will be about him paying for the transport, it's okay with him. Right? Yeah, that is good. That is good. Big up Kai, congrats Kai. We, we love you for that. That is good mm-hmm. sportsmanship. Yeah, so um, I hope Chelsea will be... Will, okay, they are already 2 nil up. So they'll be going there with an advantage. They're going to France. Is it France? Yeah, France. Yeah, they're going to France. Uh, head highs. I I expect them to keep the same momentum. Add at least another two goals. It will end uh, at least two nil in favor of Chelsea. Mm-hmm. Not for sympathy, but I am with Chelsea actually. I, uh, you, but did you watch that the first leg? These guys are good. These little people. They, in fact, they gave us a run for our money, man. They, they did, they did, they did. But you know, you are, you are now already. You guys are already leading. Mm-hmm. To me, absolutely. Though we're emotionally affected, right? Yeah, mentally affected, affected. But with the Thomas, with the Thomas to help, mm-hmm. you guys. You are very strong and I admire that. So. Again, considering that FA, FA, FA refused our, our request, we wanted to play that game against Middlesbrough in the FA in, in closed doors, but clearly our, we ended up again withdrawing that request. Why? FA could not, uh, because apparently this ban means we can't sell our tickets, so it means no money for us. And you see, at the end of the day, it's all business. But clearly I understand uh, Middlesbrough, because it's not their fault that we were we were banned here. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Our issues are our issues, and we have to deal with them. And the game must be played. And we don't have to take to them our personal issues. You understand? Yeah. So I understand them very well. And big up Chelsea for withdrawing that that request. And uh, we continue doing this. So all we do is win each and every day. So tonight, uh, so I didn't get your prediction. 
Two nil. Two nil, yeah. So yes. a repeat of the first league. Yeah? So for me, if you ask me about this team, which has Chelsea champs, we are currently playing without uh, major sponsors. Our JZ sponsors, the three people, the telecommunication, they withdrew. Uh, then also the the Hyundai, Hyundai. they also withdrew. Big up Nike for sticking with us any day, any time. So I know we will get there, we will get even better. So it is what it is. So Chelsea, we are going through a crisis, but I believe that we shall overcome. Strong people or successful people are always known by how they compose or how they uh, how they compose themselves and how they behave during difficult moments. And this is Chelsea for you tonight. Uh, the only players who might who will be missing in our team, uh, Rhys James definitely will not be playing. Um, but the major team, the junk of the team will be playing because people like Timo Werner, Kai Havertz, Lukaku, Mason Mount, Engolo, Engolo Kante, Jorginho, uh, Chaloba, um, as Vilqueta also is missing. What about Thiago? Thiago Silva is there, he will be present. Rudiger. Rudiger is present. So, yeah, uh, Sa is present. Saul, Saul will not be there. Without forgetting Eduardo Nedi. Eduardo, of course, man, one of the best goalkeepers in the world currently. Hail, hail, hail to him. He's doing impressively well. So, tonight, without a doubt, Chelsea, as we face Lille, Lille is a good team, especially when you meet a person like Renato Sanchez, a guy who will make runs everywhere, trying to ops, trying to humiliate him. By the big up to Renato Sanchez, I love that player, he's a good player. I'm looking forward to signing him as Chelsea one of these days, if if chance allows them. So uh, this is a game whereby I'm not. It's not going to be easy for us. We will have to dig to dig deep in our pockets and make sure that we find uh, a way to win it. Remember, on weekend we had a very difficult match against Newcastle. We had to dig deep until the 80 something minute when uh, Kai. Kai was given what an assist by Jorginho. And uh, he didn't hesitate. He converted it in a very majestic way and a very calm manner. So we thank you, Kai Havertz, for doing that. So currently, we are also looking towards joining other teams in the quarterfinals, and we hope for the best. So tonight, if you ask me, this is a night whereby Chelsea will be going all in, and we will be going to win this game. Uh, I'm feeling like. We are continuing to, we'll continue with a clean sheet. So this will be a 3 nil in favor of Chelsea. And uh, we will continue with our good form. And I'm wishing Chelsea all the best. I hope we get a new buyer soon so that uh, we can start rebuilding afresh and uh, this crisis can be set in our hands. Yeah, and uh, by the way, I wish that for you so that we can again start competing on a level of free ground. Yeah. You know, right now, one of us is aiming it's you guys, but the fact that you people are staying strong, mm. one love. By the big up, we've not lost any game since this crisis started. Eh? Mm. So thank you to Thomas Tuchel for holding the team together. And also thank you to the Chelsea players for giving the coach an easy time to manage the team during this crisis. We, we will handle the crisis together as a team and we will overcome it together as a team. But guys, as we all know, Chelsea, we are here to stay, and we hope that the government stops interfering uh, with our fans as they celebrate or chant whatever they are chanting. Because uh, I was, you know, it is what it is. We will discuss that on another platform. So uh, we welcome you guys to watch tonight's games uh, of Champions League as we are headed to the quarterfinals uh, after tonight. And uh, let's continue enjoy, uh, doing this. So. I think until until next time, which is I think on Friday, because mm -hmm. game week 30 will be starting on third on, on Friday. Friday. And Friday night. Friday night. And for the fantasy lovers, man, we are just telling you in advance, it's a blank game week. Many teams will not be playing. I think we might only be having like four or five games. So this please, weekend. This weekend. So please update your fantasy squad. Don't be left behind, huh? <laughs> Budo. Make sure you update your score. Just to, to tell them, why is it a blank? Um, it's a blank game because uh, there are FAs to be played. Like Chelsea, we have that game against Leeds Pro. How many games in hand do you people want to have? No, it's FA. 
So you ain't playing no, Premier League? No, we're not Premier League. We're not playing Premier League. So it will be just another game in hand added. Liverpool will not be playing. I guess Arsenal might not be playing. Man City might not be playing. You people might not be playing. We will be playing. You will be playing? Against Leicester. This, this Saturday, yeah. This Saturday. Mm-hmm. Okay, then you guys will be playing. But please update your fantasy squad so that you're not caught off guard, right? Definitely. So guys, thank you so much. It's always real uh, linking up with you and interacting with you. So please hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, put that notification, hit that notification button. And you know how to do what? Share our content. Share our content. Let's grow together as a team. One of these days. One of these days. Tunasemanga mungu? Mungu bele. Mungu bele. Sit down. So until next time, guys, I think it's...